Hi, I'm Max Marriott. I'm the co-director, co-producer and co-writer of The King in Yellow for Blood Side Up Theatre. So The King in Yellow is a collection of short stories from the turn of the century. It was written by Robert W. Chambers and among sort of horror literature, sort of aficionados, it's kind of one of sort of totemic texts like H.P. Lovecraft was huge fan of it and uh, True Detective Season 1, if any of you watched that, it will have, there's a lot of influence drawn from it as well. The stories themselves are sort of individual narratives where they each kind of contain this play within the story called The King in Yellow. And the idea is that if you read or you see this play, it kind of drives people mad. And so the story is basically how do different characters react to the play as they are exposed to it in different ways and how do kind of the collateral damage of events that happen in one story affecting the story that happens afterwards. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just an interconnected narrative of different sort of people. I've kind of taken a lot of influence from kind of like uh, sort of psychological horror films, and but obviously with the kind of supernatural play element, there's definitely kind of a otherworldly kind of uncanniness to the whole thing. I kind of, I want people to kind of feel like they're getting more paranoid and insane alongside the characters as they delve deeper and deeper into the story. Me and Scott, my producer, co-writer, co-director, uh, we directed a production of Tick Tick Boom last time for Side Up, which went really well. Uh, obviously with that it's kind of got the sort of musical song and dance elements to it, but with this one, because it's a straight play, because it's also a horror story, we kind of felt like it'd be really exciting to kind of involve more tech elements, so we're going to be using sort of, uh, so my brother Charlie Marriott, who's a sort of up-and-coming musician in Manchester, he's going to be writing some original music for the play. My friend Ryan Hardy is going to be working on the tech side of things to kind of use um, TV monitors in a way to kind of screen multimedia elements into the show. We're going to be recording short films that will be kind of interweaving throughout the play itself. So we're really kind of excited about this as not just a piece of theatre, but kind of like a multimedia project in itself, which is, I, I think, kind of one of the first times we've set up some, done something like this before, so I think that's really exciting. Like, how often do you see horror plays, science fiction plays, it's kind of just something you don't normally see on the stage, so I think just to see something that maybe you haven't quite seen before performed in a sort of theatrical space, I think is what is, for me anyway, if I was an audience member, would be the most exciting part of it. Behind the stage and on the stage has just been doing a really fantastic job, so we just really can't wait to see all the work they've been putting in uh, being performed on the 8th and 9th of March.